Hi everyone, the Spider-Man here. So guys, as you know, on the 27th of April, my Theraphosa Sturmy freshly malted and I've gave her an extra couple of days to recover from her malt because it's been 12 days since she uh, freshly malted. So she should be perfectly fine to give her a feed now. And when the BTS arrives, I'm going to be putting her into a new enclosure and the enclosure will be going on here I'll remove all these enclosures here, put them on top of the tea stermy enclosure. So I can't wait to rehouse her next week when I'll get the new enclosure from the BTS. So let's take the enclosure off the shelf and let's see if she's hungry. So ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, I have taken the enclosure off the shelf. So let's just take the lid off. And if you're wondering, why I'm wearing black gloves and my black hoodie. I did a video on the 3rd of May, just an update video. And like I've said before, I am allergic to the hairs on this species, only the Theraphosa species. Any other species, I am perfectly fine. But with this species here, I am allergic to the hairs and I get a huge rash on my hands or on my arms. So that's why I'm wearing some protective gloves and my hoodie. So let's get a closer look and let's see if she's hungry. So there she is guys, a little bit of a close up for you. So I'm going to be feeding her a nice large superworm. So here goes. And the worm decides to run off. <laughs> let's get a bit of it. There we go. Yay! There we go. I had a little feeling she was going to be hungry. Unfortunately, didn't get no fang action, guys. So I knew 12 days would be perfectly fine to give her a feed. Uh, I could have gave her a feed after 10 days, but I thought I'd give her an extra couple of days. So, ladies and gentlemen, I've left it for... Around about 20 minutes, I just wanted her to settle down and start heating her meal. So let's get my tongs and let's remove the hide. So here goes, let's just remove the hide. As you can see, I'm using my 12 inch tongs. And she's starting to flick hairs. Them are the hairs that I'm worried about. And there we go. So she isn't stressed out too much. Some people say you shouldn't remove the hide, but I don't usually do this guys, but uh, I wanted my lovely subscribers to see all her beautiful colours and there she is ladies and gentlemen a little bit of a close-up for you guys so let's zoom in a little bit more closer oh my god look at them beautiful fresh colours and she's got to be around about the five to five and a half inch leg span so i can't wait to rehouse her next week into a nice larger enclosure so she can have a good walk around and hopefully we might get some fang action. She's um, sitting right close to the edge of the enclosure so it's a little bit difficult to try and get some good footage but you can see all them fresh colours and her eyes as well. That cluster of eyes. Beautiful species. And these are the hurricating hairs, guys, on her abdomen. Just them red hairs there. And them are the red hairs that cause all the rash. And that's what they flick from their abdomen. Just as a defence mechanism, if they feel threatened. So, yeah. Them are the, uh, <laughs> the horrible hairs that uh, irritate my skin. And a little bit of a closer look, guys, of her amazing colours. Uh, try to get some fang action, but she's not really 
moving her fangs much at the moment. But um, yeah, beautiful uh, tea stir, mate. Hopefully we might get some oh might get some fang action there guys. So I had a little feeling she was going to be hungry anyway. So I think I'll leave her alone now to eat her meal in peace and I'll put the hide back. So I hope you enjoyed this video everybody. And thanks for watching everyone.